Welcome to another Doctors Express Medical Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Brown, the Medical Director for Doctors Express of Danbury. In honor of American Heart Month uh, this year, we're going to talk about prevention of heart disease. So there are many risk factors for folks getting heart disease as we get older. Uh, one, of course, is family history. Uh, having a history, a first degree relative, which means a sibling or a parent with um, what we call premature heart disease, having a heart attack before the age of 55 if it's your mother uh, or sister and before the age of 65 if it's your father or brother. That's, uh, that is a, a big risk factor uh, for patients. Uh, cholesterol, having elevated or uh, unfavorable uh, cholesterol distribution, of course, is, is a risk factor. Having diabetes is a risk factor. Smoking is a, a big risk factor. And then, of course, age and gender. The older we get, the more likely. And if you're a man, uh, up to a certain point, you're more likely than females uh, to have a heart attack. Now, there's many other risk factors that are, are, are highly likely, but haven't conclusively been shown in well-designed uh, studies to be risk factors. But we all suspect that, of course, a diet that is rich in red meat, for example, and it has very little fish or white meat and very little uh, fruits and vegetables, of course, is a risk factor. Uh, having a sedentary lifestyle or being obese is thought to be a risk factor. And then, of course, stress is thought to be a significant risk factor. There is also one other thing I didn't mention, which is a blood test. Aside from cholesterol, there's something called the C-reactive protein, which is actually uh, thought to be even a larger predictor of your risk for having a heart disease or a heart attack than cholesterol. Level. So you want to talk to your doctor about that one. Now you'll notice that not all these risk factors are what we call modifiable. You can't do anything about your gender or your age or your family history, but of course you can change if you're a smoker, um, you can change if you have diabetes, uh, if you're sedentary, uh, if you have high cholesterol. So some things you can do. Of course with diet, uh, you can change that as well. You can incorporate uh, the, the Mediterranean diet. Uh, is, is one that most cardiologists think is, uh, is very beneficial. What I encourage you to do, especially that this is American Heart Month, is to go see your doctor, have a discussion about what, if any, of the risk factors you have, what your likelihood of having a heart attack over the next 10 or 20 years is, and how you can reduce that risk. Uh, there are multiple steps that can be taken, uh, and we don't have the time, unfortunately, today to go into those, but I think it merits a good discussion with your physician. This has been a Medical Minute from Doctors Express of Danbury, Connecticut. Like us on Facebook and visit our website at doctorsexpressdanbury.com.